Hey, 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 everybody. It's sorry I didn't come with a filter podcast. It's your guy, Will. Yeah, I'm recording from my restaurant tonight because, well, I just sent my father home to go and uh, rest up. So, ah, uh, well, last night's uh, NXT was pretty impressive, actually. I liked that episode. That episode was very, very, very well done, and it was. I can't say much. It was exactly what I'm expecting from this whole NXT revival or upgrade on that end. It is, it was entertaining. It was, you know, the ending was really shocking. Congratulations to Carmelo Hayes. The man is now the NXT North American champion. So congrats. Uh, you know, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with Isaiah Swerve Scott. I I can't get past this whole Swerve Scott deal. It is uh, really tricky on that end of how... I, I don't even know how to explain it. I just can't... I can't get my... Pat, I, Isaiah Scott would be all right, but Isaiah Swerve Scott is kind of a real hard tongue twister. Yes, I did shave, as you guys can tell. I probably missed a little or not. Uh, didn't do my workout today. I'm just taking a week off from the whole thing, just trying to get my body back into shape, you know, back into its normalcy from what happened the last few days. So that is what it is. Uh, again. Yeah, it's kind of like I'm I'm right in the back area of the restaurant, so I'm like near the back door. I got a ladder. As you can see, I, I'm not in my normal headspace of this, so this is kind of awkward and weird. But as I want to carry on, uh, last night, Dodgers did it again. They pulled it out. Game five tonight. Let's go, Dodgers. Let's knock these fuckers out. Come on. Uh, the lot of... Uh, Wow, I'm just going nuts. Uh, I was in suspense because it was 0-2, and, and then you know Mookie got that other run in there, and it made it 4-0 or whatever. I just I want the Dodgers to advance, okay? I, it, to me, when it comes to playoff time, I'm very intense. I'm very hard about it. That's like... This is also like a vlog too, as today. Um, I will vlog a little more on after my podcast here. It is it is such an intense situation when it comes to World Series. Like I love playoffs. Playoffs in sports. Playoffs is like the where you get the best out of the best, and it's just so great to see it. Great to do it. Enjoyable, exciting. Unexpected plays, unexpected everything. I love it. I enjoy it. It is fantastic way of being a sports fan is to enjoy these playoffs. I don't care if it's a best of five or a best of seven or a one game. Even with the one game, wild card games are just ridiculous because you just don't know. And it's always, it's not highly contested. It won't be a high score. It will be nil-nil for like, I don't know, a good portion of the game. And then all of a sudden, somebody cracks the home run and pfft, game's done. It's, it takes one one home run, one run, that's it. Game's over, done, as I like to say. Uh, I do uh, have some news on the Canuck front. Besser is with the, line, with the team on this road trip, so that's great to see. I love it, love it, love it, love it. So he might be, he'll be probably playing on the trip, not this first game, but he'll be playing on the rest. Sad news in the Canuck land, though. Sack McEwen's gone. He got claimed today by the Philadelphia Flyers, who we face, I believe, let me check my other laptop here, Saturday night. No, Friday night. Yeah, today's, yeah, Friday. So that sucks. That does suck. But again, we can prevail. We can do this. And it's, you know, it, it is what it is. It's it's part of the business. It's part of the sport. You know, you get claimed, you get picked, you know. Uh, 
my predictions last night were a little off. Pittsburgh stomped the hell out of the defending Stanley Cup champs, the two times defending Stanley Cup champs. And Kraken did an pr- impressive job on their first game, you know, getting there with the uh, Golden Knights. 4-3, that was, you know, even though the Knights won, it was still an impressive game on their behalf, so I'm not going to give them, you know, a, I'm not going to disrespect these guys, these guys are coming in, you know, this is a brand new team, so you just put them together about less than a month ago or so, so it works, or more than a month ago, but it's still, you know what I mean. Uh, so tonight you got Montreal versus Toronto again. I'm hoping Montreal wins, but most likely it'll probably be the stupid Maple Leafs. Rangers versus Capitals. I'm going the Capital route. Uh, my Canucks. I am definitely going my Canuck route. I don't care. I know probably everybody's going to say, "Nah, the Oilers are going to win." I don't give a crap. My Canucks are going to win. That's because my Canucks are my Canucks, and that's who I cheer for. That's my opinion, my take on that end. Winnipeg Jets versus the Ducks. The Ducks are not going to win this one. It's just, it's going to be a landslide. Blackhawks versus Avalanche. Okay, so this is going to be the first game for the Avalanche without Philip Grubauer in net because he's now with the Kraken since the draft. The way, they do have some good goalies, don't get me wrong, but they work so much with Grubauer as being the, uh, the quintessential goalie, number one goalie for their roster. Like, that's how it was. The Blackhawks, I know, I'm probably sure that Mark andre Fleury is going to start. The Flower is going to start for the Blackhawks. The Jets, on the other hand, you know, you got Connor, Connor Hellebuck. And that guy, if I have to do early Vesna guessing, it would be probably Hellebuck. I'm... Just going off the top of my head here, so nobody get all pissy with me. Uh, Demko. And... Because there's no price. I would have... The third goalie is a hard one. Maybe it's it's a toss-up between Flurry and Leonard. I don't really think Bobrovsky is going to do much for Florida. That's my opinion. It's just... He's just had a really kind of a hard road with that team even though they like try to make playoffs it's just really hard for him the other aspect of that it's I can't really tell you if there's any other goalie out there that could probably top that I I'm, I'm gonna really discard Markstrom on it because Markstrom is just not a he left Vancouver to go to Freaking, uh, what do you call it? Uh, Calgary. Calgary loses their number one defenseman in the expansion draft. Chris Tanev is now really the only one that's going to be blocking shots for Markstrom because the rest of the defense don't block shots, and he does. So that's going to really lay up on that shit. But that's that's hard. I'm not going to do any of the other uh, awards because it's really hard. It's it's first games, so to really analyze that to even get into that come for further forward, I'd probably do it like later on in the road. I got to see really how all these teams match up, how everybody's gelling, how everybody's working together with their new rosters and their new teams, and that's how I look at it. Uh, in NFL. My Chiefs lost one of their one of their offensive weapons. He's on the IR, so that's uh, Clyde. And yeah, he's out. So, eh, it is what it is. I, I think it's an off season for the Chiefs, anyways. So, you know, I'm kind of a little bit bulging because my muscle mass is starting to grow. Uh, that's like a little bit on the NFL front. I am going to do more picks. Like, the NFL right now, as I say, I'm not, I'm not going to switch my picks until at least tomorrow. That's my goal. As we stand, I'm not going to switch anything up until, like, later on this week. I'm going to stand firm with what I pick the last few days. 
so I'm just going to stick with that. Sorry. Um, again, we got no wrestling tonight because it, Rampage is moved over to Saturday spot because because now ESPN and TNT and all them they have hockey now, so it's kind of like it just has to you have to manipulate the uh, entire schedule to work around everybody. So that's fine. I'm cool with that. I, uh, I'm all right. I got something to watch also on Saturdays now. So me being pro wrestling. Oh man, do I look so fucking fat? I'm, I'm trying to lose weight. I, it, it is like the after effect of me being stressed, having a panic attack and an anxiety attack all in one shot kind of just makes my body look a lot bigger than it should. So, yeah, it really sucks. Um, plus, I ate some, I just had brunch. So, again, uh, that is all on that front. As I say, like, what, I'm going to do my take with hockey like i'm sorry about this people but i love hockey so much it's it's one of my things i just i don't see a lot of hard te- like a lot of teams making the playoffs because i'm gonna go over to the standings right now okay right. in the atlantic division it's gonna be lightning toronto Boston, maybe Florida, because I, I can't really see the Red Wings, Canadians, uh, Senators, and Red Wings even remotely trying to push, unless something sparks them. And then I go to the Central, I look at the Predators, meh, a- okay, the Avalanche, the Jets are most likely going to push and be the top two. And then when you go and look, it's probably like St. Louis and Dallas are going to probably scrap it out. As I say, like Blackhawks are in a rebuild stage, a bit of a rebuild stage. Coyotes just entered the Central Division as of this year because of the Seattle expansion. Coyotes are a full on blonde of fire sales, rebuilds, and everything else. So that's about it. Uh, in the Metropolitan, you're going to, of course, you're going to have your Islanders, your Penguins, and the Capitals. Those are your three teams. Carolina could make some big noise. Uh, Philly doesn't look like it's going to do very, very well. I, I don't know. Columbus could be a dark horse. Rangers could be another dark horse. Like, there, there's a few, but it's just not really what you're going to expect. Then I'm going to go to my Pacific. So, you know, you're going to have, of course, Vegas Knights, the Oilers. I've seen a lot of people say L.A. is going to be the third team. I can't see that happening. I just cannot see that happening. I see the Canucks being the third team or the second team, either behind the Oilers or the Knights. It's just how it works. The Pacific Division is a very sort of soft division. If Calgary even remotely tries to push for the NHL for a playoff spot in the NHL, they're not going to make it just on solely base that they gave up a lot and they lost a lot this year. They lost a ton of people. You know, it's just how it is. They lost Sam Bennett. They lost Mark Giordano and a few others I hear. So... That's what I see. Why I love talking about hockey and pro wrestling and all that is very much my thing. It is, uh, it's one of those things. I always poise out questions. What do you guys like? Tell me what you like. Leave them in the comment section. I'll do my best to answer them. Because I like to interact. Sports is like basically my, my go-to thing. It is my... If I didn't have a relationship, and I don't, sports is my relationship. It is my go-to uh, love and dove kind of situation. I just, I don't generally uh, really care about it. It's how I feel about sports. Uh, I've always been a sportsman. I've always been into the sports. Hockey was is 
is and always will be my number one passion. Then pro wrestling, then all and uh, like football, soccer, baseball, basketball, all the other sports will fall into place. Like you know, I'm very much into that. With that being said, I'm not. I generally stick on topics that I know more about than I do try to jump around. Like, I don't talk about politics because I'm not a politicker kind of guy. I'm not going to sit here and talk about, you know, COVID because I generally think everybody's can pissed with that and done with that shit. So I'm not going to sit there and talk about that. Uh,. I might dive into some movies later on as I grow, uh, music too, maybe some influencers, podcasters, YouTubers, and all that. I probably will try to dive a little more into what I listen to, what I like. As I say, that is what I got so far. Like, this is what I really passion about. Sports and sports entertainment is really what I passion about. I love it. When you see the side of the business from a different business sector, you start to understand that all the all the hoop flaw, all about the money and that stuff, you have to make sense of it. And I understand, like, oh, it would have been great to have a big signing. Okay, well, our big signing was PD and Hughes and Connor Garland and Jason Dickinson to contracts. That's great. Demco was right off the gate before the end of the season last year, and we got him at a real good price. So I'm not going to complain about all that. I mean, you're not going to hear me bitch and bellyache about things because of other people's opinions and stuff like that. That's not me. So it is going to be a bit of a short video today because of i'm a little tad busy today i had to do some other extra work today here at the restaurant so yeah uh that's about it as i say i'm just gonna do something real quick if you're all watch listening to the audio please hit that follow and uh yeah i will be up with a new one later today or tomorrow and y'all have a great hump day and remember it's woman crush wednesday